Breaking inputs coming in. Uh, latest blog having been penned by the finance minister Arun Jaitley uh, in quite literally giving a one-year report card as far as the fallout of demonetization is concerned, strongly supporting it, saying the biggest positive move for the country has defended demonetization. It is a blog titled A Year After Demo. He has praised the move, saying that uh, it has most essentially dried up terror fronts. Let's get in further inputs from our correspondent Hina Gambhir with those details. Uh, Hina, help us understand the manner in which the finance minister has defended this. Uh, is he just talking about allegedly terror funds having dried up, even though we haven't seen uh, a dip in terror attacks in Jammu and Kashmir in the wake of demonetization. But has he also mentioned in what he feels are the positives of demo in other sectors, in other areas? Well, in this blog that uh, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has written just one day before uh, India celebrates the anniversary of demonetization, which was announced last year, a year after demonetization, that's the name of the blog written by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. He's trying to explain to the people of this country how this has been a big success. Remember, the government uh, is facing a lot of criticism, a lot of flack from the opposition on the issue of demonetization. Ever since RBI released its data, in terms of total currency that has come back into the system, the demonetized currency 500,000 rupee notes. Since a huge amount of money came back, almost 99% of the currency came back, they felt that perhaps this whole objective of demonetization, uh, uh, it, it was uh, impacted and we did not really achieve anything. However, the government is trying to sell a different narrative. The finance minister is trying to say through this blog that November 8, 2016 would be remembered as a watershed moment in the history of Indian economy because ever since they say that the government has come to power their focus has been fighting black money and corruption and there could not have been a better way to really do this. Uh, previous governments did not do this. They did not bring the Benami Act which was delayed, Benami Property Act which was delayed for about 28 years. Of course, um, uh, you know, uh, targeting the previous government in this case, UPA era, because they did not do anything to remove corruption corruption and black money from the economy. Uh, the government says that this demonetization exercise really helped the government um, attack black money, attack uh, uh, corruption from the uh, economy, and also it has helped the economy become cashless. And hence, each and every rupee that the people of this country now spend or earn or use, it is all accountable. And that has become possible only because of demonetization. All right, that of course being a strong defense uh, coming in uh, from the finance minister himself. Uh, but has he put across any specific examples in this blog, Hina, uh, in, in areas that affect uh, daily life? Or is he only specifically tried to mention the biggest impact having made on terror funds having dried up? has uh, been written by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. He's mentioned about the number of uh, currency that the, the number of, uh, you know, uh, demonetized notes that came into the system and how suspicious transactions are now being analyzed. Operation Clean Money is underway. So he has given a lot of data and also the kind of undisclosed income uh, that has got identified post demonetization. The former prime we would have insisted that 18% is the top ceiling rate and there should be only one or two rates, not the plethora of rates and also that before launching the GST, which is a complicated new invention, the government should have run a dry run, experimented, it asked the traders particularly the informal sector, traders, the small industries, how they react before jumping in such a big reform effort without prior consultation. Our, our complaint is that what we told the government in private or what we said in parliament, something is was totally ignored. Sir, 
क्या आपको इस चिट्ठी की जानकारी थी जो सोनिया गांधी ने 2004 में पीछे नबरम को लिखी थी और क्या सोनिया गांधी को इस तरह से हस्तक्षेप करना चाहिए था वे आई एम नॉट एबल टू कमेंट ऑन समथिंग अबाउट व्हिच आई डोंट नो एनीथिंग इफ दे कमेंट ही एनीथिंग इज डाउनलिंग बीन डन द कमेंट हैज एवरी मींस दैट एवरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट एट इट्स डिस्पोजल टू डू व्हाट एवर इट लाइक आपको The former Prime Minister there uh, in Ahmedabad slamming the Modi government just ahead of uh, the demonetization anniversary war of words has begun. The former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh slamming uh, the Modi government there on the implementation of uh, demonetization stating that objectives of the note ban have not been uh, met there. And he's speaking on the sidelines of an event where he had gone to Ahmedabad uh, to address traders and businessmen. The former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh there speaking on demonetization ahead of its one year anniversary, which is uh, in fact on uh, the 8th of November, which is tomorrow, just a day ahead of that. War of words has begun with the opposition there slamming uh, the state government on the implementation of demonetization and uh, its effects. Remember, demonetization uh, has been widely criticized by the opposition, uh, stating that it has marked the end of uh, many small businesses all across uh, uh, the opposition. There has been uh, wide criticism as far as this move by the Modi government is concerned and just ahead of uh, the anniversary, one year anniversary of demonetization, we are seeing more party leaders of the opposition there and openly criticizing Modi government, former Prime Minister and former Finance Minister Manmohan Singh, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh there in Ahmedabad. Uh, also slamming uh, the Modi government there on the way it has eroded confidence of uh, in, in Indian businesses uh, for the investors.